ready. Well, what did the city name? Okanakanaka. <laughs> What's up everybody? We're here at Lake Country Manufacturing. We're here for a Dr. Beasley's event, the future of detailing. We have like 20 students here for a two day training with Mike Phillips and a bunch of other industry experts. And I'm super excited to kind of share some footage. We're gonna get some secret behind the scenes footage of Mike and all the instructors training and what's going on here. I'm super excited to share with you. So stick around, this is gonna be a fun video. You've been talking about for this a little while and it's finally here, the battery operated pressure washer. This is insane to me just to think about. Um, obviously this is great for at home garage users and mobile detailers but I'm excited, this is the first try. We're gonna wash the Tesla with this. You know, this is a prototype unit. You know, we talked about this before we started this video. It's gonna be a high-end pressure washer. Such a cool product. We knew you were gonna be here. We wanted to show you this product yeah. uh, and do this video. So they're not looking for 3,600 PSI and stuff like that, but this will do 3,200 PSI on the turbo mode. That's huge. That's huge, holy crap. Flex has vacuums. You guys are on fire. You got pressure washers, and now you got vacuums in two different versions here, huh? Our Flex, you know, 1.6 gallon cordless vacuum at Shervon with our Ego brand. We just launched our new nine gallon vacuum. This so thing looks sweet. We also have a bag, which is your initial filter. It does have a HEPA filter here as well. It's going to take all the primary, you know, dust out of the air. So, you know, the air is going to be cleaner that's coming out of this than what we're breathing. That's no joke. That might be more. That might be more power than a lot of vacuums that detailers are using right now. It is. That's amazing. All right, uh, I want to use it. We've been out here playing with some new tools, which are really cool. But let's head back inside and see what they're doing in the class. Okay, so there's good abrasive technology and there's crap, okay? Great abrasive technology will remove a defect without putting its own defect in. It'll look good. There's some junk still on the market, even this year. 2023, there's still junk out there. Dr. Beasley's, we have our own proprietary abrasive technology that nobody else has. And it's spherical in nature, and it's microscopic in nature. So no matter where they're at, since they're perfectly round, they're always cutting, no matter what, where they're laying out on the paint, they're 100% cutting all the time. They cut fast and they leave a uniform finish behind. How many people here don't know what a test spot is? Raise your hand. It's okay if you don't know. Okay. Test it. So you're testing the product, your pad, your tool, your technique, and the paint. That's five different variables. And if it can make it look good in one spot, won't it make it look good on the rest of the car? Of course it will. So you want to dial in a process that works perfect. Every time you work on a car, lock in your brain, what did you just see? So then the next time you work on a car, you can go, oh wow, this shirt corrects faster than that last one I did. Polishing is now done, and now they're going to start actually getting ready to apply the ceramic coating. They're actually using a paint coating builder, which I've never seen before, so I wanna go check it out. So come on in, let's see what they're doing. But now if you come back and put our builder on top, so it was always intended as almost like your rebar. It's a strengthening to again, all about getting that most durable possible bond. Is it a standalone coating no. or is it? No, 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 no. It's like it's a primer or the kind of thing. So this is where. Does it extend the life of the coating? Yeah, or? it reinforces the, the bond, adds gloss. So we're, A, we're layering. What, we, what it was designed to do is reinforce the bond. What no one ever talked about was the fact that we're also gaining film build with it. So we're increasing gloss. Yeah, I'm Tony uh, from St. Charles, Illinois. Enthusiast Auto Detailing, obviously. Yeah, I've been detailing professionally for about two and a half years now. Started off using rotaries with wool pads, which is something that not a lot of detailers do this these days. So uh, kind of going a little old school, but it's good techniques to learn um, for efficiency and things like that, so yeah. Then Mike kind of just walked everybody through doing a test spot. Yeah, he kind of walked us through the, the process of a test spot, make sure, you know, you kind of get your process down before you, you know, move on throughout the whole vehicle, so. And there's a lot of people here, so you guys flew through cutting and then polishing, yeah. and now you're using a couple different products. So I saw a paint coating builder. Yeah, so it's kind of a base layer that helps uh, bond to the paint, and then you have that top layer that's giving you that beading quality that you're looking for, most people are. So you got that kind of protection of the paint and then the, the beading quality on the top layer. There's, there's only two kinds of glass polishing. There's topical and subsurface. So when we were working on the Ford Fusion, I had everybody just run over the glass with the first step process they were using, whatever it is. 
because most quality compounds, if they're clear coat safe, they're glass safe and they'll peel anything off the surface. As an enthusiast or as a professional, as an enthusiast, maybe you've got a car that doesn't need that bad of work, so you just need one step. Here's the reasons you want to polish. One, maybe there's no glass replacement available. They just don't exist. I did a 67 Ferrari about a year ago. There were no replacement windows for this thing. Two hours later. And that is the process. Then you just repeat that for about an hour. Any questions? <laughs> so, I was asked if you wanted this for an FOD. I said yes, we'll figure it out later. I did not want to deny you the pleasure of polishing the hot dogs. Are they all your top dogs? These are... Uh, <laughs> strike one. All right, checking in on the wiener mobile. Um, all right, because we can't just do one thing in a day. We gotta do multiple things in a day. We're leaving, so Rod is going over all-in-one products with uh, Giro's Garage, and we're headed to Detailer's Roadmap to say hello to Chris Giovanni and uh, see their headquarters. So, here we go. All right, welcome to Detailer's Roadmap, Chris. Eric, nice place you got here, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. It's a vibe. Yeah. So we were discussing on the way over, like, I want to do a video with you and, and I want to bring as much value to detailing businesses as possible. I think you bring a ton of value to, well, you've brought a ton of value to us. Oh, I appreciate it. Stuff. But you have the unique kind of position where you are talking to detailers around the country and you're getting some inside information from people on what's working and what's not working with their business. So what have you seen in the past quarter, three months in the detailing industry? Are you getting to talk to so many people? So I look at like data as often as I can. So I, I so if anyone doesn't know, we, we have several hundred sites and so I can understand. Usually I can see trends of search volume that's not just like something you Google online. So like when your business and 40 others around you slow down, I can usually with the amount of sites that we have, I can see where those search terms are dropping and understand essentially at the end of the day is like, is this your business being affected? Or is this like a turn down across the board? And usually what, what we see at Detailers Roadmap is <clears throat> California is the first to pick up. So when California picks up, I know the Midwest is coming, but it's 45 days later. Okay, we are back at Lake Country. We're going to go see the progress on the Wiener Mobile. Take some pictures. Wiener picture? Wiener picture. My name is Zach Smith. I'm the owner of Pittsburgh Pro Car Care. I've been detailing for about 20 years and we've been in business for about eight. I am an authorized trainer with Dr. Beasley's for about the last year. I have been a trainer at five classes. Been involved with Dr. Beasley's products for about three years now. I got my start when they released the NSP line. Uh, they did a giveaway on Instagram and I won. And we coded a car for a longtime client. We're very familiar with how he maintains his cars and they're typically not the best. But we used the NSPs and did not see that vehicle again for about a year. Uh, when it did come back for its first maintenance, my shop manager who handles the majority of my coatings and heads that department was uh, performing the maintenance wash and comes running into my office screaming. I thought something had broken or was on fire. And I ran back and took a look at uh, what was going on and it looked like we just coated the vehicle yesterday. Uh, I called the customer to ask what was going on, what did he do, is he topping it with something, what is his maintenance? He said it's been run through the car wash a few times since we coated it and that was it. And I was sold on it from that day, attended my first Future of Detailing a few months later and here we are. So what I love about the NSP line is we can polish the car, correct the paint, make it look beautiful, and we do not have to follow up with a heavy solvent or alcohol wipe to remove the polishing oils before coating. Uh, so not only does it eliminate a step, but it eliminates the risk of marring that paint with the solvent or alcohol prep. We have had better results across the board, better durability. Uh, the cars that are coming back, our customers are happier. And not only does it save us a little bit of time, but it's a better product for our customers in the end. That is the end of the day. We just got done doing a video with Chris with Flex, their new battery-operated vacuum, which is awesome. 
What a day. It's been special. We've made a lot of videos here, but now they're all enjoying special beverages and I'm going to go join them. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.